Welcome to Tech Brothers. Uh, in this video, we're going to answer a question. Why do we use listener in availability group? First of all, creating listener in availability group is an option. You don't have to create a listener, but it's always a good idea. Um, if you, It's always a good idea to create a listener in availability group. Because if you're not creating listener, uh, to me, this is my own opinion, you're not taking advantage of high availability using always on. Uh, if you don't use listener, what's going to happen is that as long as your database databases are on primary replica, uh, they will be your application have to connect to using that SQL Server particular instance and the port. Um, and since listener also creates the logical uh, network name of that particular availability group in SQL Server, um, then uh, what happen is that uh, if SQL if that uh, if those data availability group fails over to secondary replica, your application is not going to connect to those particular databases unless you failed back uh, those uh, availability group to the primary replica. So listener is, uh, uh, is, is really a must as far as uh, I am concerned. Uh, if you don't use listener in availability group, you're losing uh, the availability uh, uh, part of uh, always on. So uh, whenever your application, if you create listener, whenever your application connects, it actually connects to the logical uh, network name of that availability group. So it doesn't matter whether, uh, you know, the availability group is on primary replica or uh, secondary replica. A listener keeps track of that and listener directs all the calls to that particular AG group databases. So that's why it is, uh, 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 it's listener is good practice to use. However, uh, in a setup, you don't have to create listener, but if you don't, then you have to provide fully qualified name of that uh, primary replica SQL server instance where your database resides. I hope it helps.